Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa. It's all about shadow boxing drills you're not doing. All right, in today's episode, we're talking a little bit about shadow boxing and drills that you're probably not doing. So, a little example of why I'm creating this video is because I've been getting frustrated here at Bazooka Kickboxing because a lot of times I give my students or my fighters the instructions to shadow box. And what I see is I kind of see the same thing. There's no system, there's no concept. They're kind of just using their arms and their legs just to kind of warm up. But the idea of shadow boxing can be used so much more. It's a valuable time for your fighters and your students to practice different concepts, different things you've been working on. So lately, I've been guiding the shadow boxing a little bit to help them, okay? So eventually, as you become more advanced and as a professional, you should kind of have a thought process in your head what you're doing. If you're fighting somebody, for example, who's a movement fighter, your drills in shadow boxing can be pressure-based. They could be evasive, right? So the idea is, when you're shadow boxing, stop staying in one little circle spot, right? That's not realistic. We have a big ring, a big cage, a canvas to be able to move around, and the fight's always changing. So we have to create drills that allow you to move during your shadow boxing, okay? So we're gonna get into some of my favorite, what we call line drilling, okay? Because at the end of the day, the main movements you're gonna have to give somebody is we, you know, pressing forward or you're evading backwards, right? Or we're tracking them left and we're tracking them right. So you gotta be able to follow. Yes, we always talk about our triangle steps that work circular, but we're focusing on these specific line drills today. Okay, so with Matt here today, we're gonna talk about some of our favorites. Now, depending on your level, okay, there's different types of strikes and concepts, but just gonna assume everyone has a basic understanding of all the strikes in the stand switching and we're just going to tell you the favorite ones we like to do. Okay, so some of the main things we want to do moving forward and backwards is just moving, okay? So we can move very, you know, in a pendulum bounce, right? I could even step back or pendulum bounce, right? So even as simple as warming up this way as a beginner, okay, use your slow step or gallop step, okay, you decide. Okay, something small like this. Then what you can do is you can add head movement while you do it. You add fainting, your movement, left and right, maybe some zigzagging, okay, because that's realistic. If you're gonna pressure somebody, right, you wanna be able to move in a zigzag. So when I come forward, I'm cutting this way a little bit, moving my head, getting it offline, okay? So now we're building in just forward and backwards movements, right? Using our basic stepping. Now, as we get a little bit more advanced, we like to start shifting a little bit more. So from here, we'll be moving and we're just touching. Like I don't even have to punch yet. I can move forward and backwards using my stance switches to create. Now, even with these line drills, see, I'm moving, my feet, my head's moving, now we can add some striking, right? So, basic ones, I might say one, two walking, okay? You can do it fast, but the problem is, every time we learn one, two, we're always stationary. So to get people moving and stepping to even throw straight punches tends to be hard for a lot of people. So, you can move forward using the one, two, one, two, one, twos, or you could even start going backwards. One, two, one, two, okay? One, two, three, and start mixing it up. So that is the concept that I like to use moving forward and backwards. Now, there's a million different ways to move forward, a million different ways to move backwards, but at the end of the day, that's something you have to develop. This video is about giving you the concept of things you should be doing, okay? So that's forward and backwards using punches, shifting, footwork, but we also do it with our feet and our legs. So some of the basic ones we can do is even using front kicks. So I can use a front kick, boom, to switch stances, okay? Still, still tracking this way, being able to attack, even backwards, back step to knees if you want, back step front kicks, okay? So you're practicing all those different types of linear movements that you're gonna be seeing a lot in fights, attacking forwards, and attacking backwards, okay? You develop the type of strategy you want, okay? But moving backwards, some of the basic ones I want you to practice is moving your back foot first, so cross hooks, right? I could move this way, right? Or I could even use my front hand. So front hand, 
Okay, my front foot moves, one, two, three. Very basic, right? So I can go back foot first or front foot first. Some little tips for you to practice moving backwards because a lot of times the moving backward is the hardest part um, for most people to establish and get used to. Okay, so that's forward and backwards. Now, again, I'll give you some of the examples of how we use it fancy here, right? So I could do a line drill, for example, low kick into, boom, scissor knee, low kicks, into scissor knee. I'm still traveling forward and backwards, right? I could practice jump knees, okay? I could even practice Superman punches to kind of close distance, but it's all practicing in a line forward and moving backwards, okay? Now, what we're gonna add is lateral movement. Now, we call this lateral tracking here at Bazooka because you gotta picture having somebody, okay, against the cage or the rope. So even when I'm shadow boxing now, there's nothing in front of me, but you can see as I'm moving, I'm attacking, you know, left, and then I come and I attack the other way. Now, even from the left and right movements, right, you'll notice different strikes work better from the direction I'm moving. So usually the key that I give my fighters, right, as if you want to move fast laterally, it's better to be in a neutral stance. If I want to go left, it's easier, but going right, you feel a little slow and awkward. So I make sure when you attack, you step out like our, almost our triangle, then you could shuffle. Now from this shuffle, you have to be able to attack. Now you'll notice from, as a, as a beginner, okay, I like to stay in the same stance. So as we shuffle over, and I'm picturing my opponent walking into me, and then I can hit them with my hooks. As I shuffle this way, I attack with my low kick. So that's the system here. We can move here with our punches and our hooks, shuffle over, come down, chop with the kick, and then move. So you see now we've created a shadow boxing system, moving left and right, and we have forward and backwards. Now, some of the other ones that Matt and I would use in our training, preparing him for his professional fights, is the ability to switch stances. So sometimes from this neutral stance, right, look, we can step in, okay, orthodox. As I shuffle over, Boom, I step in, I cut my opponent off, and we're both in southpaw. So these are the little types of example where you can build in more beginner, intermediate, and advanced style tactics, okay? But remember, this video for you guys is to understand that shadow boxing shouldn't happen stationary in one little circle, okay? A lot of times, I see a lot of beginners not even moving, okay? They're literally in one spot not even changing directions, pivoting, there's no fainting. At the end of the day, you gotta put everything in a system. So some of the tips, even with this types of drilling, even when you're doing the line drills, I'm asking my guys, make sure you faint before you switch stances, right? Building in real fighting tactics is gonna help. Forward, backwards, mixing and fainting, occupying strikes, okay? Then eventually, I could say to my guys, you know, freestyle. But then as soon as I say freestyle, I see shifting, I see backstepping, I see lateral tracking. So you notice that a little bit of shadow box focus training helps when it comes now to the solo time to shadow box. And I see a big benefit when they start sparring after this kind of guided shadow boxing, okay? So I hope you learned a little bit more about shadow boxing and different techniques and concepts you can use. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends. Make sure you support the channel, right, by going to first Hayabusa Fight to make sure you check out their T3 Boxing Glove line, my personal favorite. We have Perfect Sports Nutrition, code Bazooka20 to get 20% off. And we have bazookatraining.com, right, which is where you can get me every single day training, basically. And Monday, Every Monday, I give you four brand new videos. You have bag workouts, home workouts, tutorials, and sparring drills, all taught by me, all in a curriculum, all in a system to help you evolve in your martial arts training, and it's only $9.99 per month. Okay, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA online training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. 
The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.